Hey everyone, quick video here on how to modify your fire tinder to make it more effective. So without delay, let's get to this video. Okay, as you can see here on the table, I have several examples of fire tinder. This is a tinder wick. You can get these on Amazon. They work pretty well. Same as the Wazoo Survival fire plug, same concept. You can cut these up, use them multiple times, start multiple different fires. Uh, this is the cotton Q-tips and then the petroleum jelly. I'll post a link above on how to use that, but it's something I've talked about before on my channel. If we, if you want to think about the basic concept of fire tender, the goal is to convert a spark, whether that be from a spark wheel, a broken big lighter, or a ferro rod, and then convert that into a flame, which then you can use to ignite other surrounding material. Um, I was trying to figure out a way to make this kind of fire tender a little bit more effective. Um, and keep it super low profile and cheap. And what I came up with is something I would like to name. We've all seen a Tootsie Roll. Well, this is what I call the Tindy Roll. All it is is basically a piece of tinder wrapped in foil. That's it. The reason I did this is several fold. So what the piece of foil can do, and this is just your common kitchen foil. You can use more heavy duty industrial foil if you want to. But the reason I like this concept is that number one, it gets the piece of tinder up off the ground. If you're in a wet environment, it keeps it dry. It also can reflect radiant heat of the fire back onto the tinder or whatever else you're trying to ignite. So you can place this down, uh, place your piece of tinder in there, light it, and then place some other op uh, material on top of it to then light get that going and you're going to have a more effective flame because of that radiant heat being reflected. Also, uh, this has probably happened to anyone who's tried to use a ferro rod. What can happen is sparks can go flying all over the place. Um, takes a lot of practice and skill to be efficient at using a ferro rod. What this can do is, and I'll demonstrate this in a second, is you can create a little bowl out of the foil which then redirects the sparks back onto your tinder so the idea being you don't have to use as many strikes on the ferro rod to uh, ignite your tinder. So that is the concept here. Very cheap. I don't even know if this is, I don't know what the price would be for sections of aluminum foil. Very cheap and very easy to create. Um, I'll show you some other options here. So this is a Q-tip that I wrapped a little piece of foil around. Um, this is a tinder wick. Actually, no, this is the tinder wick right here. So very low profile. And what you can do, you don't have to keep the, the, the flared out sides like that. You can fold it down on top of itself so it's a little bit more compact there. Um, and then this is just another option too. It's, um, I'll go ahead and unroll this for you guys. Same concept, but it contains a tinder wick, a little ferro rod made for a Swiss Army knife, and a, a ceramic striker. So really self-contained fire kit can make multiple fires. Um, so the, the sky's the limit as far as what you can use the foil for. You can wrap this around fat wood. You can wrap it around what other fire tinder you use and, and is your favorite. But I'll go ahead and demonstrate now exactly how this works. So stand by. <music> Okay, that's just the concept of the tindy roll. Go ahead and create your own with whatever fire tinder you prefer. And when starting fires in the outdoors, if you are using this, go ahead and try to just pack out your trash afterwards. Don't leave pieces of foil everywhere. Um, but low cost option to make your tinder better. And this is what I'm going to be doing from now on to all my fire tinder and my kits. So please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and thank you.